Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome back to my 7 Days to Die Insane Mode Challenge. This is Old Pap, and uh, it's great to see you guys. It's been a little while. It's been about two weeks since I made my last video. Unfortunately, my mic that I had previously, the one that was kind of low quality to begin with, kind of crapped the bed on me. So, thankfully, um, I had a friend kind enough to hook me up with a blue snowball microphone and I can already tell that the mic audio is way better much higher quality it sounds much better better um, I'm gonna give him a quick shout out his name is John Cribble and uh, anyone wanting to check out his band on Facebook um, he kinda has like his indie rock band thing going on it's uh, black squirrel run squirrel run <laughs> if I could pronounce it correctly. Anyways, thank you so much, John. I really appreciate it. And uh, now that introduction's out of the way and you guys are kind of caught up, we're going to get a move on here as soon as possible. I'm just going to take a moment to show you guys how I have the chests all um, organized pretty nicely. And uh, you know, not much food and drink in here. I do have some coffee. I am going to bring one of these. Al ah, we'll bring them both along. Yeah, you know what? We'll just leave one behind. And uh, that was another thing I wanted to bring up. Uh, between this episode and the last episode, we have gone from Alpha 13 to Alpha 14, or sorry, Alpha 18.3 to Alpha 18.4. I don't know if it was that or if it was a glitch, but when I came on, I noticed my health was at 100 and my food and drink were both at 100. Now, I am not cheating. I did not do that, but I'm just going to roll with it for now. Uh, we've been given a gift and uh, kind of got screwed out of some HP in the last episode. Um, a couple times I went to pick up my spear and it would nothing would happen and like a crawler would hit me. So we're just going to take a mulligan there from here on out. If I would lose or gain any life due to the game screwing up on me, that's how it's going to go. Unless, of course, I get glitched out and stuck and it kills me. We're not going to count that. Anyway, let's get a move on. We're going to want to find some food. I want to try and find a weapon, and I most certainly want to get all the supplies I need to build a forge. Uh, that's going to be very important going forward. I'll probably knock out all this stuff and uh, get the forges going on the wall right there. Uh, let's take a look here. We're going to need leather. We're going to need uh, clay soil. We're going to need more stones. Uh, we're going to need two more iron pipes, and we're going to need three more duct tape. So let's get a move on and see if we can find that. Now, I believe I already looted this house. Um, one of my quick sneaky loots, <laughs> trying to uh, get stuff. Yeah, I see where a zombie came out and started coming after us. So let's see. Check this garbage here. Sometimes this has duct tape. It's not. Let's see if we can sneak upstairs. Because if this is the house I'm thinking of, we started trying to loot up here. And then we started getting swarmed, so we just bailed. It is not the same house. Um, I'm going to go ahead and make some frames. I've been watching a lot of Glock 9's videos, and he does this frame trick quite a bit. And early on, I'm going to use it, but later as we get further into the playthrough, I'll start to rely less on it. But as of right now, we have stone weapons, and uh, we need to cut ourselves a little bit of slack. Let's check these clothing bags. We got a college jacket gives us plus 10 run speed that is awesome we will wear that we'll go ahead and take those uh, steel armor parts and a skirt let's yeah let's <laughs> we're gonna wear it because it does give us some heat resistance let's see how sexy we look here oh yeah look at them legs baby I can't rotate my character I would so as you guys know, we are kind of in crisis mode as a country. I'm going to avoid really talking about all that. I'm sure you guys hear enough in the news and pretty much everywhere you turn, from entertainers to politicians. So I'm going to kind of steer clear of that. But I will mention, however, that we are currently on lockdown in my state. And uh, as bad as it kind of sucks, it is nice to have this extra time to kind of create this content. It's also prime time for, um, oh, whoops, let's pick us up. Prime time for people to watch our content. So, you know, um, as bad as this is, you know, this is kind of an opportunity for me to get some content out there and hopefully get some new viewers. All right, let's take care of this. Whoa, I was stupid. Why did I do that? 
already took a hit today when I said we were going to try not to take any more hits. Okay, so this is the frame trick. We're going to upgrade this. We're going to let her in. And we're just going to hit her with the spear. She can't quite reach us, but we can hit her. There we go. And then what we can do is we can knock out this block right above the doorway. And once that's knocked out, we can jump in and out. And uh, there we go. Even though this frame is here, we can get right through there. And if we wanted to run from a zombie, all we'd have to do is put a wood frame up here. We don't even have to upgrade it because then they won't try to jump up there. Kind of a cheap little thing, but in the beginning when we're hurting, we need, you know, any little advantage we can get. Okay, so now, let's see, can we go up any higher here? No, I believe that's it. If there's a basement, I bet you where that's where the main loot, if any, of this house is. So, we have the iron pipes. Now all we need is the duct tape. The clay soil will be e easy enough to get, and so will the stones and leather. So, we're going to want to check every couch or office chair we come across and get leather that way. Oh, I'm going to go ahead and... Re you know what? We'll save that to sell to the trader because I put points into intellect, and we're going to learn this... Uh, basic sensors and trip wires and all that. We're gonna learn that through the skill tree, so I'm gonna sell that schematic to the trader. It looks like I already hit all these cabinets uh, in the last episode. Uh, all right. And you guys are gonna notice I am gonna skim over quite a bit of loot. That is, um, I'm doing that on purpose. Uh, time is precious right now and I'm trying to get as many things for this forge and as many important things done today as possible so that's going to mean sacrificing some of the um some of the smaller things like collecting uh plastic polymer fibers or whatever and uh paper the people will say why aren't you breaking those cardboard boxes down you know those will get you the polymers and paper which is very important and i agree to an extent um that will come in handy later on in the game but as of right now, I don't really need them too much. Uh, some medical supplies. First aid bandage, very nice. In the last episode, I noticed that there was a diner over here. Dick's Diner. Um, seems like a, as good of a place as any to find some food. So yeah, let's go check it out. Um, I'm also familiar with this POI. This is just one big building. And up on top of the store more, there's actually a loot chest. If I'd feel a little more comfortable if we actually had a gun with some ammo. Uh, I'd feel a lot more comfortable about going up there because I know there are birds. I know there are a few zombies at least waiting up there guarding that loot. Um, maybe if I can find a pistol, we'll stack crates and do the nerd pull, as they call it on Neebs Gaming, and get to the top up there and just kind of cheat our way up. We'll loot the rest of this POI once we're more equipped, but let's at least go in here and see if we can't find any food. Uh, we have arrows. Um, uh, we're going to have to find some more uh, feathers so we can make more arrows. Plus, if I get the forge up and running, we're going to want to make as many iron arrows as possible because we're going to rely very heavily on this bow. There's some energy drink there. Let's deal with this guy here. Oh, dropped my spear. I threw it right over his head like a dip ass. Ugh, I hate getting hit. I hate getting hit. Especially whenever I don't think I should have got hit. I think the, uh, the hitbox is a little wonky. There we go. Definitely gonna need to make some more arrows, but we'll worry about that later. Uh, we can sell that to the trader for a good 200 coin. Let's go ahead and scrap this. Scrap those chairs. Oh, let's check in the toilet. Sometimes there's pistols in there. Yep, just more murky water. We'll take it in the medicine cabinet. Alright, just some grain alcohol. We'll hold on to that for later. Du two duct tape. Sweet. Uh, some glue would also be nice because all it takes is glue and one cloth fiber to make duct tape. There, there it is. All right, so with this glue and the cloth we have, we now have our three duct tape. So now we just need the leather and clay, which is super easy to get. Leather is going to take a little bit of work, but that's fine. And we have some crates in here. 
Um, let's go ahead and shut this door. Get some lead. I'll hold on to it for now. Damn, I'm finding drinks for days, but no food. Maybe we'll have some luck in this Shamway crate. <laughs> Plastic. Great. Very nutritious. That should last us a few days. That'll fill us up. That's the good stuff. Alright, let's go up here. Maybe there's some food up here. Ah, another crate. Nice. Some spikes that'll protect us from anything that tries to come down the steps. Alright, can of sham. That's something. Gives us 15 max stamina, which is pretty much your hunger. As that goes down, um, it pretty much means you're getting hungry. So we're going to go ahead and eat that now. We got some uh, clean water. We'll go ahead and scrap that for more iron. If we get the forge up and running early enough, we can go um, try and loot or uh, try to mine some iron nodes. Bust this out. Maybe I can get around over there. Yeah, here we go. Pro tip. There's usually a way to get around locked doors. Uh, I woke something up in here. Nope. Oh, that's a soldier. Not a fan of those guys. Hmm. Maybe I should just lure him outside and try to take him on out here. Yeah, we can uh, we can always climb back up in the building there. Oh, he fell down. Okay. Let's bust in here. We'll worry about him later. There's an office chair. These scrap for six leather each. So we are now only four leather away from our forge. And another office chair. We're set. We are going to have our forge today. <laughs> All right, so I'm just going to go ahead and break this box open. We'll have a look-see maybe in the next room over. And then we're just going to get back to the base and create our forge and drop off whatever we looted. And an ear of corn for good measure. Nope. Oop. See you later, bud. Ooh, I sprained my leg. I kind of had a feeling that was going to happen. But it's okay. Almost forgot. We're going to want some um, clay soil, which we can get right here. We're just going to dig up, a, I believe we need 60 of that. And then we'll go over to the big rock formation to the left of our base. Get up, the, get up all the rocks we need and get our forge built. And then we'll be cooking with gas, guys. We, uh, we get out of the Stone Age and into the Iron Age. All right, we got enough. <clears throat> we got enough stone, and we got more than enough clay. I actually dug up a little more because we need to smelt a bunch of clay as well for our uh, forged iron and whatnot. Pretty much everything uses it, so I wanted to go ahead and grab a little extra. Let's go ahead and chop down this tree. All right, I think the rest of the things we need are actually in our forge. And getting access to forged iron will allow us to build a secure metal door, which is much better than this patchy looking thing. Alright, um... No, I think we actually have everything we need in here. Yep, we are good to go, guys. Um, that's going to take a minute 20 to craft. In the meantime, I'm going to dump off all this loot, and uh, we'll get ready to go make another run here. Oh, okay. Um, I actually noticed we leveled up, so let's go ahead and do strength and put a point into Miner 69er. This will allow us to make level 2 tools, so we're going to go ahead and scrap that and make a level 2 stone axe. And that will uh, break down blocks a little faster for us. Let's go ahead and throw our forge down. And tonight, um, after nightfall, I'll clear all this extra crap out of here. And this will be a nice elevated platform with plenty of space to conduct business and set up our workstations. So what we're going to do here is I'm going to take, we'll go 20 pieces of wood. I like to have the forges running when I'm not at the base. I uh, will go ahead and do that. Throw all the iron and a good bit of clay in there and let that melt down while we are, we are out looting. Uh, let's go ahead and 
Hmm. I don't know how many uh, arrowheads I'm going to be able to make with that little amount of iron. So for now, we're just going to make stone arrows with these feathers. And uh, we'll try and find more feathers on the way home tonight. That way we can make plenty of steel arrowheads. Eh, you know what? Let's go ahead and use it. We're already down to two-thirds health. I'd like to get back up to uh, at least 80 HP. Or, uh, sorry, 100 HP. That'd be nice if we could get up there. I'm going to go ahead and take this 9mm ammo with us. We're going to check as many toilets and uh, loot boxes as we can. We're going to eat this ear of corn to get our stamina back up just a tad. That should also heal us a little bit. And if we get real desperate, we can eat this sandwich. It does give us a 12% chance of food poisoning. But that's a risk we got to take sometimes, guys. <laughs> we're uh, we're really scraping the bottom of the barrel here with these settings. Uh, loot set at 75. I also dumped off all this stuff here. Um, this is all stuff that I'm going to eventually take to the trader. Uh, I have watched Block play this map quite a bit. He played his Rambling Man series here. So I know that... Um, Trader Jewel and Trader Jen are both pretty nearby, so we've picked a pretty damn good spot to start out. Um, he spent a night in this greenhouse over here, I believe, and the loot is very easy to get to. We can sneaky loot this pretty easily, but what we're going to do is we're going to need to make more frames to get up there, and once we're up there, we can kind of sneak around, and uh, if it's in the same place as I think, we should be good. Um... We should be able to get to it without waking up any zombies, and with any luck, we'll have access to a, uh, a weapon of some kind, or a, uh, a gun of some kind. Some more duct tape and a shovel. Go ahead and bring that down here. Another great thing about having the forge and making the forged iron is now we can make uh, repair kits, which are huge. They repair everything from our tools to our guns to everything in between. We can never have too many repair kits. All right. Let's see what we're looking at up here. This is glass. I was wondering why the hell I couldn't get through there. So we're definitely going to wake up some zombies. And we got birds. Uh, and they knocked us down here. So let's get the hell out of this house. We just ran in a big circle. Shit, close that door. Is this a way out? No, it's not. Oh, shit. We're getting cornered. Ladder. All right, cool. All right. Oh, damn, motherfucker. Oh, I hate birds, man. And they hit way too hard. <laughs> shit. Shit. All right, we're, we're going to do a tactical retreat here. I'm going to try and get this bird off of my ass. We're infected, but luckily we have some honey back at the base. Let's go ahead and eat that. And uh, so much for being sneaky. Um, the bird kind of made me panic and fall down and wake up every zombie in that house. Yeah, so uh, so much for all the healing we did with that first aid bandage. It all, for, <laughs> all went for nothing. What I think we're going to do is uh, the desert, I believe, is to the south. So next time we level up, we're going to put a point into... Which one does it? We're going to put a point into Physician. That way uh, we can craft first aid bandages. Thank goodness, because we are going to need a lot of them in this playthrough. Did you see how much damage that damn bird did to me? Normally those things do like 5 damage a hit, 10 damage a hit tops. And that thing did like 20 or something damage, so yeah, I'm not looking forward to this playthrough um, when it comes to getting hit by birds, because they are freaking everywhere. Alright, sneaky loot, take two. Alright, let's see if we can get in here this time. There we go. Put a block right here, and we are looking good now. I will crouch, see if I can... I can't guess I can't get in that way. Oh, there was glass in the way. Okay. I'm going to put a frame here to keep that bird from getting to us. All right, what do we got here? Uh, compound bow schematic, we're going to read that. Dynamite schematic, we'll read that. Some ammo, a weapon flashlight. That is very nice to have at nighttime especially. What do we got here? Some ca canned dog food, guess what? 5 health, 10 stamina, 
No chance of food poisoning. We're going to eat that up. It's the apocalypse, man. We're going to eat whatever we can find. We got some ammo. And uh, an ammo pile. And it gives us a ball cap mod. Um, let's break into this. And hope to God there's at least a 9mm handgun in here. Oh, yeah! There is. Oh, thank you. And uh, some iron gloves. That'll give us some resistance to different effects such as bleeding and uh, infection. So let's go ahead and wear that. Let's grab this pistol, grab the ammo. And I'm going to drag it down here to the toolbar. We're going to move some stuff around. But there we go. We are now no longer at the mercy of the zombie hordes. Uh, the hordes, maybe, but <laughs> typical zombies and the birds, no longer afraid, near as afraid of them. Uh, for example, boom, dead. I would have had so much trouble with that thing otherwise. Let's get down there, Let's cut that up. Not the ground, there we go. And this will give us a bunch of feathers, rotting meat, and bones. And, uh, yeah, let's bail. We got every- Whoa! We got everything we needed there. I'm not going to waste ammo fighting these guys. Um, we're going to try and conserve as much as we can. And let's move on to another house or POI to look for supplies at. Alright, well, this house seems to be pretty much reduced to rubble. Uh, maybe there's some loot up there. Oh, you know what? We already found, we already did this place. We looted this right before we ran back to the church at the end of uh, the day yesterday, and we managed to find a uh, military armor vest. Uh, do I still have that? Yes, I do. That is crucial. That is a very nice piece of armor, and there's a desk safe here. I wish I had a junk turret to drop and watch my back, but we're just going to have to be extra careful here. Let's try and pick that lock. And we're in. Oh, yeah! All right. <laughs> yes! Yeah! AK-47. All right. And more 7.62 ammo. That is beautiful. Iron Knuckles, we're actually just going to scrap these. I am not going to use them. And we're going to scrap the sledgehammer, too. This will give us a nice amount of iron. We're going to run back to the base. We're going to scrap that chair. We're going to toss the iron in the forge. And uh, we're going to go try and loot some other POIs. Man, this was nice. I am so glad we stopped back here. Let's go ahead. We're going to take that up here. Move that there. And we're going to go ahead and bring the AK down here. Um, we have the gun now. Why not have it handy in case we start getting overwhelmed? Our chances of survival have just increased tenfold by finding these weapons. Um, I was really, really worried we weren't going to be able to find any. Um, considering the difficulty of the game... But we got lucky. A workbench schematic. Now we have access to a workbench early, too. If we could find a wrench and start making some tools, we could get that workbench up and running. Um, and then we can go in here. We'd have to put a point into intellect. And then we can un unlock bicycle master. Or bicycle mechanic, rather. And have access to a bicycle early on. Now, I've noticed a little drop in frame rate. Bear with me, guys. Uh, my processor leaves a lot to be desired, and that is actually my next upgrade to this computer will be the processor. That will hopefully help with the stuttering a little bit, and then um, I'll probably go for a new graphics card after that. But for now, we're going to make it work with what we have. I'm having fun. I hope you guys are enjoying it thus far. Whoa, hello. Um, these guys are kind of slow. Let's take them on with the spear. And I get hit. Wow. <laughs> this game makes you eat your words in a hurry, man. The second you feel a little confident, it will prove you wrong. And we gotta keep our eyes open for more birds. Alright, he's a runner. Let's go ahead and just drop him where he stands. I'm not playing with you. Especially at 30 health. Alright, nice cobblestone here. Let's uh, harvest all this stuff. Now, as far as a horde base goes, 
I usually start working on my horde bases um, around day five. I'll start to get a general idea of what I want to do if I find a structure that I like a lot. Um, otherwise, I'll just start kind of building one from scratch. I do kind of a traditional... There's no way that should have hit me, man. I was way farther back, like, back way far enough that that shouldn't have even touched me. That's some shit, dude. We better find some stuff to heal up or we're going to be in some real trouble here. Um, anyway, uh, I usually do a traditional just kind of tower defense base early on. And then as we get more leveled up and we get traps, I build more elaborate setups. And it's going to be fun to see how we progress through that if we don't die. 11 repair kits. That is very, very nice. That's going to help us big time. Um, we don't have to worry about sacrificing duct tape for now to make repair kits. Alright, since we're really running low on health, we're going to keep the AK out um, pretty much the entire time we're out looting. We do have um, natural healing. Um, I put a point into healing factor, so we will slowly regenerate health. But I would like to find some food or some sort of um, healing items, you know. I, I don't feel real comfortable at 7 HP. We're going to make a bunch of frames. This place seems pretty dilapidated. A um, little tough to navigate. But uh, we should be able to do it if we make enough frames. We're just going to kind of pick them up as we go. The nice thing about this place, though, is that uh, it'll be kind of hard for the zombies to follow us if we keep doing this throw a frame down, hop up a level, pick up the old frames. That's what we're going to do. And uh, keep our eye open for motherfucking birds. Because uh, <laughs> I have a feeling that might be what ends the series, is not paying attention and having a bird come up on us. But we're not going to jinx ourselves. Alright, how we... Uh... How do we navigate this? I see the loot, the main loot over there. We are already almost to it. Hopefully no floorboards break. And we make the jump. Alright, let's check these medical supplies. Alright, let's check these medical supplies. Oh my fucking god! I thought that was it. I, th I just saw the series flash before my eyes already. Alright, medical supplies. All right, we got a first aid bandage. Let's go ahead and use that up right now. All right, more ammo. That's nice. Oh, nice. All right, we got a double barrel side-by-side -side shotgun. And uh, custom fittings mod. This will make it easier to move around in heavy armor. So let's go ahead to our armor. Uh, let's go to the iron gloves and go ahead and throw these on. It will allow us to move faster and use less stamina. And we have a lot of company here. Let's just go ahead and unload on them. Clear out a good bit of them, because I want to break that working stiff crate open and see what we got. Man, we used up that ammo quick. Got them both. Got them both. Any stragglers up here? Nope. All right. Scrap that up for the iron. Uh, let's see. Let's close that so no more unwanted guests get up here. I'm going to go ahead and harvest this cobblestone here. Uh, so far today, yeah, man. It's been a pretty good loot run. Uh, we got... Three of the main weapons uh, in the shotgun, the side-by-side -side shotgun, the AK-47, and a pistol. So we're looking real good, and we just found some food. We're going to go ahead and eat that up now. That'll give us some health. Scrap the tin can. And uh, let's head back to the base and drop off all this crap. All right, back at the base. Uh, let's organize here a little bit. I didn't even realize we picked up those level 3 iron gloves, so... We're going to go ahead and go to our old ones that are far less superior. Take that mod out, throw them in the new one, and uh, throw the uh, mod back in the new ones, and we're good to go.
All right, what we're going to do is we're going to go in the forge here, throw some more wood in there, give us about 10 minutes worth. Uh, then we're going to smelt down the rest of this iron. We're going to have it cook up a, uh, or craft up rather, a cooking pot. If we can find it. Let's search it up here. Cooking pot and a cooking grill. And then we'll go ahead and have it make as many iron arrowheads as possible. Which right now is only 20, but after all this melts down, we should be able to get a good bit more. Uh, we're going to go to our pistol here. Um, not going to repair it yet. Did not mean to do that. We're going to modify it, and we're going to throw this flashlight on. That way... Alright, get out of that. Now we have some light, and we can see where we're going, which is great. Let's throw the rest of this ammo in here, where it belongs. I'll organize this more. I'll throw these in the forge to melt down so that we can start making bullet casings and uh, bullet tips. Oh, Alright, we want the shotgun shells. We'll stash this since we don't have any more ammo. It is now currently 7.06. We have... Um, Three hours of in-game time left until the sun goes down. Uh, that's enough time to do a little bit more looting. We're, we're at 50% health, which isn't too bad. I would still like to find more food and a little more feathers. So that's going to be the goal here. We have a flashlight on, which is great. Now we can see when um, you know zombies are lurking around the corners in the dark. Keep us a little bit safer. Now in the distance there... Oh, trees rendered in and kind of obstructed our view... You see that building with the orange and white roof? That is a fast food restaurant, and hopefully we can find some food in there. I know there's usually a handful of zombies in there. Let's go ahead and break up that nest for more feathers. But we can deal with them. It'll be well worth spending some ammo to get some food. Uh, that's going to be our main priority for the rest of this looting tonight. Um, I don't want to die of starvation. What a lame way to go out in this series. Now look at this here. We have another church. It's very similar to ours, but um, it has a cemetery, and it is made of wood, which is way too easy for them to get into. The base is also made of concrete like ours, but I'd rather have the one that's made of concrete and cobblestone. Now we got some animal fat here. We can make torches tonight. That'll be nice. Kind of stick those up around the base. Let's break open this log to see if we can't get any more honey. No, no, honey. Oh, well. Let's hurry up and get over there. I get too distracted, man. That's the thing about this game. You get to try to do too much at once. Um, you get distracted. And, uh... Yeah, you, you kind of waste a lot of time jumping all over the place not knowing what you want to do. More duct tape. That's nice. Uh, let's see. I shouldn't... I really don't care about this stuff for now. I can always go mine for that. Oh, shit! And we got some company. Let's go ahead and take these guys out. I'm not even going to waste time with the bow. It will take too long, and we're burning daylight. Alright, let's load that up. Man, I'm taking way too many hits in this series. <laughs> There's no way we're going to last this long if, uh, if I keep taking hits like this. I'm going to have to take my time more and uh, just kind of take it easy and not take stupid hits like I've been. Uh, I've gotten really lucky we found first aid kits, or uh, first aid bandages rather, when we did, because I would be really hurting right now if I hadn't otherwise. Uh, let's see, we got a school bus here. Oh, and a bird. Oh, man. I didn't even see that damn thing. Alright, I guess we are not looting the restaurant we are at six hp i do not want to go in there and get us killed uh let's take that stuff do i though oh it's it's a gamble man it would be a real big gamble going in there trying to find some food i don't want that nitrate powder scrap that but we really need it man we haven't come across any uh good animals to eat to get any regular meat all the meat we've found so far has been rotten Hmm, that's a good way to go in there. I guess we could go in through this window real quick. 
but we're gonna have to be quick. We're gonna have to go straight to the kitchen or straight to a food pile, loot it and get the hell out of here and pray it's some good food. I can already see a zombie asleep in there. Let's crouch, headshot. Man, I wish I had a junk turret. I'm so used to having a junk turret as a sidekick, I can kind of put down to watch my back, but alas, I don't have it yet. What the hell? Don't know what that is, but I don't like it. It's uh, pretty annoying, and it kind of obstructed my view. If there was a zombie on our ass right there, I would have got us killed. Well, guys, I just realized uh, I wasn't recording there for a minute. I broke into that fast food restaurant. I wasn't able to find much in terms of food. And uh, I get back to my base, and I'm getting ready to wrap it up. And uh, I realize OBS isn't recording. But it's okay, we didn't miss much. Um, I managed to kill a few zombies. I did burn through a good bit of shotgun shells. I cracked a loot box in there. It gave me honey and um, a couple pieces of gold. So what I decided we're gonna do tomorrow, since it is nighttime now and I'm gonna spend the rest of the night um, working on arrowheads, making some iron arrows and organizing all my gear tomorrow we're going to go see the trader. We have all this stuff right here that I've decided that I'm going to sell. He'll have some food for sure. And uh, hopefully have some first aid stuff because we're pretty low on health. We managed to gain a good bit back through that natural healing. Thankfully, I decided to put a point into that. I normally don't, but I am really glad I did because we would be dead 10 times over if I didn't. Um, so yeah, like I said, we're going to organize all this. I'm going to throw this cooking pot and cooking grate. Well, I already had a cooking grate on there. Onto the fire. I'm going to probably boil some water tonight. We're really good on drinks, so yeah, like I said, we go to the trader. I'm probably going to buy ammo. I'm going to find buy food and, if possible, some healing items. Anyway, guys, that's going to be it for this episode. Thank you so much for watching. Um, being a small beginning content creator, I appreciate every single view, every single like, every single follow, every single subscription. Um, it means so much to me. Uh, you guys can find me on Facebook at Old Pap um, dash Pap Plays and uh, Nerdwatch 2020 with whom I work. Thank you guys so much again for watching. This has been Old Pap with Nerdwatch 2020, where we keep a 2020 watch on all things nerdy. And I will see you in the next one. This series is sponsored in part by Habitual Vape and Skate of Elwood City in Chippewa Township, Pennsylvania. Stop in and browse their large selection of vapes, juices, and accessories, as well as their killer collection of handmade pipes and wide variety of Kraton blends. And tell them old Pat from Nerdwatch 2020 sent you. And as always, with all of our content, in partnership with Epic Custom Vinyls of Elwood City, Pennsylvania, check them out on Facebook to set up your Epic Custom order today.